In a prior video, we have seen how to calculate the pH of a polyprotic acid. And uh, to illustrate that calculation, we have used the equilibrium of carbonic acid. Okay, so here we have uh, that carbonic acid equilibria. And uh, we can see that there's uh, uh, two different uh, equilibria. The first one is just the dissociation of one proton from carbonic acid to generate bicarbonate. And then bicarbonate can also act as an acid and dissociate a second proton to generate carbonate ions. All right, so in this video, we take uh, this uh, set of equilibria a little further and ask questions about speciation. Right, so the question would be as follows. You start uh, this process by adding to water simply carbonic acid. But then as the uh, dissociation takes place, uh, you can actually generate that there's uh, you know, some uh, uh, bicarbonate and you can also generate some carbonate. So in the end, you're gonna have a mixture of, of uh, uh, substances that have some carbon in it, right? You will, you will have a dissociated carbonic acid, you will also have bicarbonate in some form, and then you will also have carbonate, right? So uh, the first thing we, we can do is to recognize uh, that there's going to be, that there has to be some sort of mass balance in all of those carbonate species, right? And uh, we can write that by the following. There is the initial concentration of carbonate that we have put into our medium, Right, that is sub zero at the start of the process, has to be identical to all of the uh, species that contain carbon or carbonate at equilibrium. All right, so you will have undissociated carbonic acid, and you will also have uh, bicarbonate at equilibrium, and then you will also have carbonate ions at equilibrium. This is called the mass balance of the species. And again, the question that we're asking in this video is, is one about speciation. Which one is more important? Do we have more carbonate? Do we have more, more bicarbonate or carbonic acid? Well, as you can see, uh, all of these are acid-based equilibria. So in principle, this will depend on the pH, right? If you have a very, very high pH, because protons always appear in products, then all of your equilibria will be seated to the left and your most dominant species will be carbonic acid. However, if you have a very low pH, then uh, the, the acids will dissociate to generate protons, right? And that means that the equilibrium will be displaced to the right, and the most abundant species will be carbonic, uh, sorry, carb carbonate, right? And if you're intermediate pH, pHs, then bicarbonate will be uh, the dominant species. The question is, can we actually uh, calculate this quantitatively, right? Can we calculate what uh, the fractions of each one of these species at the equilibrium would be under any set, uh, a given set of conditions. All right, so yes, we can do that, and uh, we're gonna write how that expression would look like. The fraction uh, at equilibrium for any species of these three x is just going to be the concentration of that x at equilibrium, okay, over the sum of uh, all of the concentrations. Okay, and the sum of all the concentrations will be, well, you have your uh, carb uh, carbonic acid at equilibrium, then you have your uh, bicarbonate at equilibrium and then you have your carbonate ions at equilibrium and again all of those uh, uh, are somehow part of, uh, of the equilibrium now we can define this for every one of the three species that are possible carbonic acid bicarbonate and carbonate and then we will have three fractions at equilibrium the sum of those have to be has to be equal to one because there's only three species that can, uh, can have the carbonate moiety in solution. Uh, for the purpose of illustration, we're simply going to choose here bicarbonate, right? So I'm going to replace here now uh, bicarbonate, but again, uh, this could happen for any of the three species that contain the carbonate moiety, right? So that is going to be now the fraction of bicarbonate at equilibrium. Great. All right, so let's see how we can calculate this numerically. And uh, our numerical, uh, uh, Example is going to involve a pH of seven. So a ne neutral pH, what would happen, uh, what would be uh, the fraction of these bicarbonate ions at equilibrium? All right, to figure that out, what we're going to do is just divide this expression in the numerator and in the denominator by uh, the fraction or the concentration of bicarbonate, right? So we divide this by the concentration of uh, bicarbonate, the equilibrium, this one as well, concentration of bicarbonate, at equilibrium, and then uh, elsewhere in the denominator, concentration of bicarbonate at equilibrium. Then this is going to simplify our expression quite a bit, as you will see, 
uh, just now. Okay, notice that the numerator then turns into just one. Okay. Here the central term in the denominator is also one. And then we have to figure out how to compute uh, these values, which are the ratio of carbonic acid at equilibrium to bicarbonate and the ratio of carbonate, uh, carbonate ions to bicarbonate at equilibrium. Uh, it turns out that we can actually get these ratios from the equilibrium constant uh, of the processes. Notice that uh, here, in this first case of A, we actually have uh, H2CO3 at equilibrium and bicarbonate. So it means that by rearranging that expression, we're going to be able to uh, solve for uh, the concentration of uh, carbonic acid at equilibrium over bicarbonate. As a matter of fact, uh, you, will, uh, you can do the algebra and realize that this is simply going to be equal to uh, concentration of protons at equilibrium over Ka sub 1. Okay? That is going to be uh, the same thing as this ratio of carbonic acid over bicarbonate. And again, you simply have to rearrange that expression. Now, the central term is 1. And uh, the term to the right is the concentration of carbon ions over bicarbonate, but that's something that we actually identify right away in this case sub A2 expression. Right? So notice that when you solve for that term in that uh, K sub A2, you get K sub A2 over the concentration of protons. Well, so we actually have everything that we need to answer our numerical problem. That is that the question is, what would be the fraction of bicarbonate at equilibrium at pH 7? Right, so we have operated through this uh, original defini definition of the fraction of carbonate at equilibrium, and then we have half come up with uh, come up with this expression. And then what we see right here is that well, if pH is equal to seven, then this will be one ten to the minus seven, and then K sub A one we have right here four point three ten to the minus seven, and then we have K sub A two is equal to four point eight ten to the minus eleven, concentration of protons neutral pH, so that will be uh, one ten to the minus seven. And uh, the result of this calculation is that the fraction of the equilibrium of carbonate or bicarbonate is equal to 0 0.81. All right, so uh, uh, that tells you that uh, about 81% of all of the species that contain the carbonate moiety uh, uh, are, are in the form of bicarbonate. All right, so in this video, we have uh, talked a little bit about speciation, right? When you have uh, an original substance that can undergo successive dissociations, you're going to have a host of possible species uh, that belong to the class, uh, uh, in this case, of carbonate-containing uh, species. Right, so when we talk about this speciation, it's very interesting to know which one is dominant at a particular pH. In this particular case, we have defined the fraction of uh, bicarbonate at equilibrium, and then we have uh, operated through the expression to find a convenient uh, form of the fraction of bicarbonate at equilibrium that depends only on the pH and on the acid dissociation con constants. Okay, and what we have found out is that neutral pH uh, bicarbonate is dominant with an 81% contribution to the total.